A legend in his lifetime, Admiral Elmo Russell Zumwalt is widely regarded as the father of the modern Navy for the decisive changes he made while Chief of Naval Operations from 1970 to 1974. The Zumwalt class of destroyers has many firsts in its design, which is why in part it's named after Admiral Zumwalt, who served as the commanding officer of USS Dewey, the first ship built from the keel up as a guided missile ship. The DDG-1000 is the first U.S. Navy surface combatant to employ an innovative and highly survivable integrated power system with the ability to provide power to propulsion, ship service, and combat system loads from the same gas turbine prime movers, producing a remarkable 78 megawatts in total. This power allocation flexibility allows for potentially significant energy savings and is well suited to enable future high energy weapons and sensors. At 20 knots, there remains 58 megawatts or 75% of the ship's power available to the ship systems. The ship will have the largest advanced electrical propulsion motors at 35 megawatts ever used on a surface combatant, precluding the need for dedicated propulsion prime movers and their traditional reduction gear. Unlike most existing classes of ships, the automation on DDG-1000 will allow routine watch standing to primarily take place in only two locations, the bridge and the two-deck high ship's mission center. The ship's mission center will have the look and feel of a command center, with operators overseeing the ship's missions and functions on multiple module common display systems workstations. The ship's mission center will replace the cramped combat information centers seen on legacy ships and allow the commanding officer and the tactical action officer to have an exceptional view of the operational picture in order to make informed decisions rapidly and to perform command and control of the ship and other assigned assets from one location. Additionally, the ship's mission center will replace engineering control. Watch standing will have a more exclusive warfighting role fewer maintenance assignments, and total ship system control and responsibility. In addition to the changes in watch standing resulting from advanced mission systems and resulting in significant surface ship capability improvements, there will also be quality of life changes for sailors as well, which is fitting for a ship named after the CNO who sent his famous Z-grams, which included improvements in the daily life and work environment for all sailors. Enlisted sailors will have four-person staterooms with an integrated bathing facility, worldwide network access, and more lounge, recreation, and fitness facilities than the surface combatants currently in service. The construction of the lead ship of a new class of Navy destroyers, in addition to being a great honor for the shipyard, demands only the best from all who will be involved. That's exactly what the men and women of the Navy, Bath Iron Works, Huntington Ingalls, BAE, and Raytheon are bringing to the task of constructing DDG-1000. On February 14, 2008, the United States Navy awarded the contract to build the first Zumwalt-class destroyer to Bath Iron Works. That event kicked into high gear the detailed design effort which would deliver the information needed by thousands of highly skilled BIW shipbuilders to build DDG-1000. Almost one year to the day later, on February 11, 2009, the formal start of DDG-1000 full-rate production was observed in a ceremony at BIW's steel fabrication facility in Brunswick, Maine. The very next day, on February 12, Huntington Ingalls started fabrication at its Gulfport, Mississippi facilities on the advanced composite deck house as well as the helo hangar and the ship modules containing the aft missile launching cells. On the morning of October 22, 2011, the 180-foot-long Ultra Unit 1400, which represents approximately one-third of the DDG's total length and weighs in excess of 4,000 tons, was transported a total distance of 900 feet to Shipway 1. The 2160 unit was erected, and then the 1400 Ultra Unit was moved into position. The 1400 Ultra Unit contains Electronic Modular Enclosures, or EMEs, that contain the ship data centers, 
ship control systems, combat systems, communication systems, and aviation systems produced principally by Raytheon. Raytheon's equipment is located throughout the ship and is produced across the country with concentration in Portsmouth, Rhode Island and the Boston, Massachusetts area. The advanced gun system includes gun magazines, the gun mounts, and support systems produced by BAE and is the most capable gun system ever designed with precision strike to nearly 70 nautical miles. The advanced gun system components are integral to the ship's design and are mainly located in the 1400 Ultra unit. This 1400 module achieved a remarkable level of completion at 57% at Keelang. Another milestone for the DDG-1000 program occurred on March 16, 2012. The 2200 unit translated to the land level transfer facility. 2200 combined with the 1400 Ultra unit represents 443 of the 610 foot length of the ship and weighed in at over 4,500 tons. It also includes modules built by Huntington Ingalls, the peripheral vertical launch system which will contain the missile launching system built by Raytheon and BAE. The peripheral vertical launching modules provide robust protection for the four cell MK57 vertical launching systems. DDG-1000 has a total of 80 vertical launch cells provided by 20 four cell MK57 modules. As baseline weapons, the MK-57 will deploy evolved Sea Sparrow missile, standard missile 2, vertical launched ASROC, and Tomahawk. Additionally, the MK-57 was designed to handle longer, wider, heavier, and more robust missiles required for future missions. The 4220 unit was erected as well as the 4320. The 2200 Ultra was then moved into place on Shipway 1. DDG-1001 Michael Monsoor is going through pre-outfit and is 26% complete. The third ship in the class, DDG-1002 Stark Fab, began on April 4, 2012. The advanced composite helo hangar from Huntington Ingalls will be erected onto the ship this year. The deckhouse unit move is a four crane pick static lift. We will transfer the deckhouse out of the dry dock, move the ship under the cranes, and lower the deckhouse onto the ship. The stern unit includes a boat bay capable of hosting two 11 meter ribs. The final unit to be erected is the 1100 Sonar Ultra unit built by Bath Iron Works. The Sonar Dome is built by Raytheon. The design of the superstructure includes Huntington Ingalls structure and the two deck high ships mission center is equipped with mission systems from Raytheon, outfitted and delivered to BIW and activated by the entire DDG-1000 team. The DDG-1000 will allow the sailor to use the most advanced equipment and automation in the fleet and at the end of the watch the ability to enjoy the benefits of a ship designed to optimize quality of life and warfighting capability. The ship is on track for delivery in 2014. The ship's crew will move aboard and prepare the ship for sail away in 2015 with initial operating capability set to occur in 2016. At that point, USS Zumwalt will be a state-of-the-art, war-ready surface combatant. With the outstanding Navy industry team we have assembled and the exceptional design of this ship and its systems, including its wave-piercing hull form, composite deckhouse, state-of-the-art propulsion, and mission systems and advanced gun system, we will continue to execute the required course and soon we'll see USS Zumwalt sailing as part of the Navy's global force, exercising sea control and projecting power in sure.